So it hasn't been long since I last did a client video on this channel. In my last video, I checked out Cloud Client. However, a new client has come out of nowhere called OneConfig. Just like Cloud Client, OneConfig is an open source Forge mod, which basically allows the user to put all their mods into one clean UI. There's lots of customizable options and it's just a really clean layout. If you guys are new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And yeah, without further ado, let's check out OneConfig. Thing. All right, so to install S Sky Client, yeah. So basically, one config comes as part of Sky Client. I know it's very confusing, but basically, we just need to install this and then we can get one config up and running. So, to do that, we need to go to their website. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So, yeah, we can get it for Windows right here just by pressing here. But yeah, this is their website. It shows you all the features and stuff, a couple of screenshots of the menus and stuff, which is pretty cool. It's open source. The majority of their code can be found on GitHub. <laughs> and there's something quite funny at the bottom here. So it says vanilla, low FPS, no mod support. Luna is bad for Skyblock. You can only use own mods. Luna is for profit. Badline uses its own mods. It steals ideas from independent mods and is for profit. Feather uses broken licenses of inefficient code and can break other mods. Wow. They're throwing some proper shade to other clients here. Wow. Right, anyway, let's go ahead and download it for Windows. So we press on that, it just takes us to their GitHub. Drag that to your desktop here. And then, yeah, just double click on it and it should run. So you basically tick these boxes and those are the mods that will be installed. So let's go to recommended PVP here. Let's go for the HUD bundle, PVP bundle. Let's just tick all of these, why not? For creators, there's replay mod, Nick Hyder and stuff like that. It's all sorted out really nicely. I'm really impressed with this and it's just a really easy way to install all the mods that you want. So we've got some more mods on the right here. So we've got some more HUD mods, some more PVP mods and that kind of thing. So there's loads of mods to choose from. I'm I'm just going to go with the recommended pvp mods here and then yeah just press install sky client it should come up with a little terminal box here as you can see it's just working away installing all my mods and when it's done it says the installation is done now all that's left to do is start the minecraft launcher and pick the sky client profile but yeah, I'm really impressed with how easy it is to install clients nowadays. Like most of the installers are just one click and you've done it. So yeah, as you can see, it's created a Sky Client profile here. So we just need to go ahead and select that. And yeah, if you do use an offline launcher, it should hopefully show up in your versions. You just make a new installation and it's pretty simple really. But if you do get into any problems, I'll leave some instructions in the description. All right, so here we go. It's kind of like the Forge um, first screen that you get when you first open it up. But yeah, here we go. So we've got some of your mods are out of date. Let's just go ahead and update them. Why not? It's really good that this is built in. I, I really like that feature actually, because a lot of the time when I used to use Forge, my mods would go out of date. I didn't know that there was new versions available. So it's really good that this auto updates them all for you. And yeah, just open up Minecraft again. All right, and here we go. Welcome to Sky Client. So yeah, you just go ahead and press next. This is just like general messages and stuff here. Oh, look pre-applied optimized settings okay let's go ahead and do that and here we are we're in sky client so first thing we need to do is we need to go to settings we need to go to sky client updater and we need to make sure we've got enable sky client beta tick so go ahead and press update leave it to do its thing and this should hopefully install one config so that we're able to manage all of our mods from a really nice clean menu all right, so now that's all done, this is the main menu of Sky Client. So it's pretty clean. We've got their logo up here. You can get cosmetics on this client, so you can obviously manage them here. We've also got a shortcut here that goes straight to playing Hypixel. So you can basically just press that, joins Hypixel straight away. We've got friends as well. Obviously, I don't have any, pretty much like my life. And we've got this really cool scroll animation. It's really kind of bouncy, that animation. I like it. All right, so we've just spawned into a world here. And as you can see, all our mods are kind of bunched up here. So if we press right, shift on our keyboard here we go here is one config wow this looks really clean we just go ahead and edit our hud real quick we can drag around these mods anywhere on our screen we can resize them make them massive and make them tiny as well so that's really good oh we've also got snapping as well so all our mods kind of snap into place so you can align up your mods nicely which is really good to see and yeah if we go into huds here and go into keystrokes here are our settings as well. So we can change the scale from this menu as well. I'm just going to leave it on number one. We can enable mouse keystrokes. We can put arrow keys. We can put the space bar as well. We've got fade time as well, which is really good to see. That is really customizable. And we've also got a chroma mode as well. Just flicks through the different colors. You can show it in chat, show it in GUIs. 
So yeah, really customizable keystrokes mods here. Would be nice to be able to see the CPS on the keystrokes as well. But since this is a Forge based client, I'm pretty sure you can probably just add the Canalex keystrokes mods and you'd be good to go. So in terms of mods, I'm not going to go through all of them. There is quite a lot here, but it's pretty much all you really need really. We've got Armour HUDs, Direction mods, FPS mod, we'll go ahead and enable that. So yeah, FPS is actually split into three different things, actually. So we've got frame time, we've got frame consistency, and then we've got my actual frames per second here. So this is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen this before, frame consistency especially. So as you can see, we're on about 98, 99%. Let's just go ahead and disable that. And then we've got frame time as well, which I'm guessing is like the delay, I suppose. And I'm quite impressed, honestly, to see this in a client. It'd be good if maybe if you hovered over it, it would tell you what the mod is, like a little description or whatever just for noobs like me. Obviously, if you tick the Skyblock mods, you'll be able to control them all from the Skyblock category up here. You can turn off Essential mods if you don't want it. Got Better Chat mod as well. Pretty much endless customizability with this because not only is it a Forge-based client, so you can add your own mods as well. You can also mess around with the vast amount of settings and customizability options of one config. So we can go to the main one config preferences here. We can enable and disable blur. You can leave that disabled if you're on a low NPC or whatever. You can also change the bind of the main menu, which is really cool. So if you don't have right shift or it's hard to press or whatever, you can bind that to another key here. We've also got animations as well. So you can enable and disable animations because the animations are really smooth in this. Just look at that. But again, if you're on a low NPC, I'd probably recommend turning that off. I'm not too sure if you can change the color of the GUI here. There is a theme section, but for some reason it's grayed out. You can also make profiles in this client as well. So if I want to make this into a profile, I can quite easily do that and save it. And then we've also got the credit, which is really good. And uh, yeah, thank you to them for making this happen. So yeah, I'm really impressed with one config. One person told me to check it out in my last video. So I had a look into it and I'm pretty impressed. Now, comment down below, which is better? One config, like I'm showing here, or Feather Client? It'd be interesting to compare them. I might do it in a future video, actually, because they're both Forge-based clients. I'm pretty sure one config has a lot more settings, but it would definitely be interesting comparing it to Feather, seeing what gives us the most FPS and that kind of thing. So if you guys want to see that video, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure this is like a screenshot manager. So if I take a screenshot, oh, that is so cool. That's like on my phone when I take a screenshot. You can crop it from inside the client. I know this isn't part of the client. This is essential mod, but I've never used this before. And honestly, I'm really impressed. Oh, my. you can draw on it as well. This is insane. So we've also got Sky Client Cosmetics as well up here. So you can go into the main menu of the client. Also, if you type in chat, as you can see here, there's a cool little animation. As you can see, if I just type, it just kind of floats in. And it's also got my player head next to my name as well, which is really cool. You can clear the chat as well if your chat's just getting flooded. And you can also search for stuff in the chat as well. You can change the padding as well. Like you can make the boxes bigger and smaller, which is really good. We can also put a board around it as well, which I don't think I've ever seen before in a client. It's pretty cool. Makes it kind of stand out, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen it before, but it's very good that that's come included. This video could go on for hours, me just explaining and showing off everything. But yeah, definitely check this out for yourself. I'll leave obviously all the links to it in the description. All right, guys. So just hopped into a Hypixel duel here and we're just going to be testing out what one config is like in some PvP here. We've obviously got the 1.7 animations mod, which is pretty crucial for PvP nowadays. So we've got a zoomed out rod, zoomed out bow. And when you hit players, they obviously go red. So as you can see, we've got a nice zoomed out bow. All right, this guy wants to be a bit of a try hard. There we go. GG. One thing I've noticed, if you have a look on the top right at my CPS, if I just like butterfly click or whatever, as you can see, the box goes bigger when I get like 10 plus CPS. And I don't think I can see any setting to like standardize how big the box is. I'm sounding really OCD right now and I'm sorry, but I don't know. It's just the little things sometimes I notice that really bug me. If I can't do anything about it, they can probably fix that bug. And if you have any bugs or find anything wrong with the client, you can always post on their Discord server and they'll look into it. 
like I said, it's an open source community, so everyone's just kind of working together to try and make this the best possible thing possible. And honestly, they've done a really good job, honestly. I'm really impressed with one config. I thought it was just going to be like one of those random clients that have just come out of nowhere. But no, it's really impressive and definitely something I could probably see myself using. Like I said, I want to try and get back into using Forge again because there's just so much customizability. There's no point really using a client anymore unless it's got Forge support. And Forge support is definitely something I want to use in my client. Hypixel is it's so laggy. When I'm used I'm used to normally playing on EU servers, but just the delay between the rods and the bow, it's just it's one of those things. I don't think they'll ever make EU Hypixel, unfortunately. So we just gotta kind of live with it. But yeah, that takes me on to the next kind of topic of the video, I suppose. And that's that I might get back into doing Minecraft content again. I know I've been kind of dilly-dallying with tech and Minecraft and optimizing and PCs and stuff, but honestly, I kind of miss playing Minecraft and uh, doing gaming and stuff like that. What's your kind of main game mode right now? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to find out what you guys are playing right now. I might do some tournaments and stuff. I might get some of you guys competing in 1v1s for maybe like a free Minecraft account or a cape or something like that. So I definitely want to try and give back to you guys, but also make some good, interesting content out of it as well. I just kind of seem to do the same thing over and over. And I just feel like I've kind of boxed myself in with the kind of content that I've been doing. So yeah, things are probably going to get switched up on the channel. I might do an update video very soon when I'm kind of when I've decided what I'm going to do. Because I don't want to confuse you guys if you haven't watched me or whatever. And then you just watch one of my new videos and you're like, what's he done? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just one of those things, really. I kind of want to do YouTube for a long time. And I don't really want to restrict myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like our close-knit community of helping each other out with, with optimizing computers and that kind of thing. But I feel like it's kind of time to move on. Like, you guys have got my old videos that you can watch. It's been a good run, honestly. I really enjoyed doing the low-end PC series that helped a lot of people out and it was quite popular but yeah you just got to kind of move with the times unfortunately with YouTube and uh, that's kind of where I'm at really <laughs> at the end of the day this is kind of like a Minecraft channel and I might actually be making a texture pack very soon I know a lot of people have subscribed to me for texture packs and I guess that's why my channel's so inactive because I kind of switched up on you guys I'm not going to say anything about it just yet I'm not really too sure how much I can say but it'll definitely be interesting to see what you guys think of that but yeah, that's pretty much the video, really. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Make sure to check out one config. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Let's just go and destroy this guy real quick. GG. Right, we can end off the video now. Thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on everything that I've said in this video in the comment section down below. I'd really like to hear you guys' input. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace.